How can I connect with somebody when we don't have the same interests? This is a really good question. It is a good question. And I would like to know the answer. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, Every time I, I meet some someone. Answers. So, like, when I go to a business networking event, I have no trouble connecting with people because it's usually people who have a like mindset that I have. Mm, you know, yes. it's, it's pretty similar. And even if they're not doing the same kind of business, they're interested in business or marketing. They're usually into health and fitness, like all kinds of stuff. So, I'm like, I'm in my element. I can talk to anybody. But if I go to, say, like a family reunion or a wedding, like I know I'm there just because of familiar uh, familial relationships. And I don't know. Like a lot of times I don't know what to say. I'm a lot more nervous to go talk to people. <laughs> what do I do? And I yeah. mean, hey, you're, you're such an uh, extrovert, right? Oh, I'm <laughs> definitely the opposite. The most that. extroverted. Uh, yeah. So I've got some stuff for this that I actually think is useful despite my introvertedness. Mm-hmm. Introversion? Whatever. Language is evolving. Um, so first, I would challenge the idea that you have nothing in common. People are pretty complex, and you might not know what you have in common because yeah. there are a billion weird things that I like that you're not going to know. Maybe you're like, oh, Martin likes language, but you don't know any of the other weird stuff. You don't know that I like Mahmoud Wad for whatever reason. You do now. You don't know a lot of stuff. So there's that. But secondly, the an easy way to connect with people is not based on similar interests, but your similar situation mm-hmm. sort of uh, – an event you've had in common, where you're from, what you're doing. The laziest one is weather, which is why it's the default, because you know the person has it in common. You're trying to find any sort of common ground. Yep. So are you in an event? Are you both parents? Do you both come from poverty? Do you both have a brother named Paul? For, and it's the same brother. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> it turns yeah, out you're are you, actually Are you brothers. siblings? You can connect now. Um, third, you can connect on shared values, like mm-hmm. the mindset of caring about business or anything else. Values are pretty important. Not everybody lines up interest-wise, but we we often have a lot of cultural things we have in common. Yeah. And the other one, I think, that is actually maybe more important than the rest here is that you do not have to have common ground because you could be invested in them, their experiences, their interests. How do you open your mind to things if you don't talk to people who you don't have as much in common with? Because they're the the people you have the most to learn from, probably, as long as you're willing to listen to stuff outside of your wheelhouse. Yeah. And you got to be invested in them. And, I mean, this works for everything. It can work for relationships. I even found an article that was called, My Husband and I Have Nothing in Common, and That's Why Our Relationship Works. Okay. And I would have to point out that in addition to that, Ashley and I don't have a whole lot of hobbies in common. We have like a few things. We have a handful of things in common. But as far as yeah. the big interests, we diverge. And that's okay because when she's doing stuff she's excited about, I'm excited to hear her be excited about it. Mm-hmm. And I want her to succeed in those things even though I'm never going to be a designer in that sense. I don't yeah. really care. I don't have the patience. And I don't know who she's talking about other than the fact that I've slowly learned some of them. Like, I don't care about these people that she looks up to in the same way. But I'm excited that she cares about it and she's passionate about it. Yeah. And she cares that I'm. she'll listen to me ramble on about some nonsense linguistic words that don't mean anything to her. But she's never going to care about it. Yep. And I know that. But she cares that I care. You can be invested in the person themselves. So at a family reunion, you got to actually, you got to be like, what are you, what are you doing, uncle? I I have no interest in it, but I'm interested that you're interested in it. They're passionate about something for a reason. Yep. 